Yeah, the temperatures were hot today, but the lower humidity made it feel at least a little bit more bearable. Right now we're in the lower 80s across most of the area. Our SkyCam network from Beaumont, Education First, our Federal Credit Union location on East Tex and 105 looking down. Traffic flowing nicely across the area. Had lots of sunshine, maybe a cloud or two across the area for today, but still that dry air in place across the area with lower humidity. That will continue for the rest of the weekend and into next week. As a matter of fact, we have high pressure and control across the area. With that high pressure sitting on top of us, we're going to be looking for lots of sunshine across the area. Still 81 down at the uh, Jack Brooks Regional Airport. 79 still up in... Jasper Woodville, 77 in Kirbyville, 73 in Silsby, De Quincey coming in at 70 degrees, 72 over in Orange, and 75 down around Port Arthur. Got into the upper 90s across the Rio Grande, now at 87 degrees in downtown Del Rio, 88 in El Paso, 86 in Roswell, New Mexico and 80 up in Dallas, also in awesome Austin and in San Antonio, 83 down around Laredo. That dry air, this is atmospheric moisture, continuing to see that again dry air in place across the area for today for the next couple of days. As a matter of fact, for the middle part of the week, by Wednesday, we'll start seeing those southerly winds returning. That means we'll see the Gulf moisture increasing, and that means higher humidity. But no rain chances until probably Saturday when we'll see an isolated shower possible. I'll show you that on the seven-day outlook in just a moment. In the meantime, our future cast shows those overnight lows back down into the upper 60s overnight tonight with again, plenty of clear skies overnight tonight, maybe a few clouds by tomorrow with highs back in the lower 90s. And then we'll see again, overnight lows uh, staying right around 69, 70 degrees in the triangle for the rest of this week. Smooth in the bays and slightly choppy to uh, again, seeing some sandy green watercolor in the Gulf of Mexico. Seas offshore gonna be running about one foot or less for tomorrow. East winds at 10 knots. Next high tide coming up at 1116 in the morning. Water temperature at 82 degrees. That's down about three degrees from what it was from the last couple of days. Mostly fair overnight tonight with clear skies. We'll look for overnight lows in the mid 60s up in the lakes, upper 60s for the triangle, then highs tomorrow with sunshine and maybe a cloud or two drifting in and out. Again, highs will be back to around 90 or 91 degrees. Then here's your seven day outlook with again, highs back in the lower 90s all the way across the board. Wednesday, we'll see those southerly winds coming in from the Gulf of Mexico so that we'll increase our relative humidity levels. And for the Thursday and Friday, with highs staying in the 90s, lows at night will be either side of 70 degrees and then an isolated coverage of a shower possible on Saturday. But Kelsey, that's not enough to worry about. We just probably are looking for a little bit of a, a rain event right now because it's been so hot and certainly very dry with the evaporation taking place. And remember that word evapotranspiration that I mentioned to you a couple of months back? Well, that's taking place on the I do. As well. Yeah, you know, it's still going on. I can't say it, but I can spell it. And you can't spell it, but you can say it. So yeah, we work as a great team on that. I'm not a good speller at all. I have to be, so. <laughs> yeah. All right, James, so the last few weeks have been difficult for a lot of us, but tonight we're sharing a story that will touch your heart. 92-year-old Mary Summers, she, you see her right there sitting in that chair, she went to a tire shop in Richmond because she needed a new tire. While she was there, she was told that all four tires needed to be replaced. And if you've ever had to replace a tire, you know it's not cheap. It was more than Mary could afford, but that's when a state trooper stepped in and paid for all new tires for her. And when Mary found out, she was shocked and wanted to thank the person who went above and beyond. I got thinking, what if she gets out on the road and, and a tire goes out on her, just kind of falls apart on her and she's out there on the side of the road. Well, I'm just so thankful for you. And I'm so proud for you. I'm proud to meet someone that has a heart that big. I just love you to death. And James, 
After all of this, the kindness became contagious. A man who worked at the tire shop named Omar did Mary's oil change for free. You know, a lot of times we get caught up in all the bad things happening in the world and we sometimes forget about all of the good and this just made me smile. Just one thing at a time, one step at a time, one kindness at a time will make all the difference in the world. And you know what, if that will be contagious as this rotavirus scare, we could really make a difference in this world. Mm -hmm. 